that uh, these officers are willing to do that. Uh, that's right. And what we're, we're hearing is uh, that, you know, backing off of this pursuit hasn't really seemed to slow down this suspect. The suspect is simply wanted for a traffic violation uh, starting probably 30 minutes ago. And uh, it's it's just uh, the suspect has just kept driving cr uh, quite uh, erratically since then. You could see it kind of doing that loop there through that residential area. Luckily, not a lot of people are just, wow, <gasps> just missing those cars into oh, that power oh, line oh, wow. there. Wow, okay. and that is quite the... Uh, the ending to this pursuit, we uh, sure hope that this suspect is okay. Now the police have to figure out how to uh, secure the situation. You have downed power lines, um, and they're going to have to protect the public there, too. So they're going to take this slowly. They're going to call fire and uh, and ambulance services to the area to, uh, to stage for when they get this suspect out of the vehicle. Uh, but right now with that armed and dangerous um, uh, kind of want out for this suspect, it's going to be uh, a slow process to make sure that the suspect isn't going to uh, harm any of the uh, officers or the public. You can see they have a canine unit out as well, so if this suspect comes out and decides to run, which would be hard to do after that type of impact, uh, that canine officer is there and ready to uh, take the suspects into custody. Three people One, in two, the car, three, three people so far oh, coming wait. out of that vehicle. Uh, first person there being taken into custody by those officers. You see the air unit overhead calling out this to the dispatchers, and you see the person behind the vehicle there laying down on the ground, uh, throwing that phone out of the way. The second uh, person, four people, wow, another person coming out of that car too. It's amazing that these people can move after that accident there, but a one, two, three, four, two in custody, the other two proned out uh, on the ground, uh, and uh, they're just going to keep calling these suspects back. Um, as they uh, end up, uh, as they kind of have the opportunity to, it doesn't look like this point that all of these suspects uh, are injured in a way where they can't move. It's hard to tell right now from our angle to see uh, how that driver is doing, uh, oh, possibly a passenger now that looking at that vehicle is doing, kind of sticking their arms out of that uh, that that door over there. But uh, the police department's taking this uh, one by one suspect, one by one, uh, to take them into custody after this, uh, this huge crash here, taking down a power line into a tree. Um, luckily, no uh, civilians or um, the public was injured, but uh, there you go. They're going to take that fourth person into custody, standing up, walking slowly back to those officers. This is what they want to see as they take these suspects into custody, very slow movements. They're going to check the, the suspect for um, weapons, take them into custody, and then they're also interviewing all these different suspects to make sure there's no one else in the vehicle. There's number five coming out of the wow. vehicle. Um, so a lot of people in that very small uh, Toyota vehicle there, um, and uh, luckily they're all moving well. You see that last person there just said, hey, I'm done. I'm going to come over. I'm going to put my hands behind my back. Uh, and I'm ready to be taken into custody, but those officers still poised uh, to make sure that they can clear that vehicle and make sure that it is safe and this situation is wrapped up here in the uh, Los Feliz area here, uh, just to the uh, west of the uh, 5 freeway um, and uh, to the, let's see, south of, uh, uh, this is actually Echo Park, my bad. Um, and so now you're gonna see the, uh, the officers here um, come together and they're going to approach the vehicle and clear it, Micah. There it is again. Uh, sorry, Courtney. We, as we see on screen, right, a replay of this crash and, and uh, a minor miracle, frankly, that no one was hurt, either uh, uh, bystanders or anyone in that car. Look at that. This, they take this down happened at a road. Arco gas station yep. right there. Can you imagine just being pumping gas and no. seeing this all go down? And, and amazingly, five people got out of that vehicle and seemingly looked okay that they were able to walk out unhurt. Amazing. And it looks like That's they've, right. it, uh, they've cleared the it's car. It's quite amazing them. that those suspects uh, made it out of the vehicle. It looks like they're wow. clearing that car. You can see how the officer's uh, kind of poise has uh, changed, um, and they're still going to make sure that they get um, able to look in that trunk and everywhere. But for the most part here, it looks like uh, they're calling this uh, code for that uh, the scene is clear, the scene is safe, and now they're going to have to call in the utility companies, the fire, the uh, paramedics to check out those suspects and take care of now this uh, down power line here uh, in the Echo Park area. Yeah, again, a small miracle. No one was hurt. Uh, bystanders appear safe, and the power lines are down. Avoid the area in Echo 